It started originally by two brothers by the last name of Knight and Wilson. And my grandfather worked there, and it was called k &W Restaurant. And my grandfather started working on Thanksgiving Day in the early 30s. By 1937, I believe, they had, he had purchased the majority of the shares. The early days when he bought it, when it was burnt down, they, there was a fire in the k &W Restaurant, and they closed down for remodeling. And my grandfather took great interest in it and decided to reopen it as a cafeteria because it was beside of a bus stop and it needed the traffic control of being able to get in people in and out quickly. And then he turned it into what it is now. It just, uh, it still blows me away. Oh, that is my, a picture of my grandmother and grandfather, Grady Allred Sr. And, and Vivian Allred. My name is Dax Allred. I'm president of KW Cafeterias. So I'm Leslie Allred Yates and I am the middle grandchild of my grandparents, Grady and Vivian, and I run the catering department for k w Cafeterias. My name is Bill Allard, and I'm the Assistant Director of Purchasing for k w Cafeterias. I am not a blood relative. My relationship is Grady's oldest son, Gary Allard's oldest daughter, is my wife. My name is Todd Smith. I'm the Vice President of k w Cafeterias. I've been with the company 26 years now. It's the family that makes it a great family business. We you know, there's challenges in every family business, but we, we all work it out and we get along and uh, we truly care for each other. You know, when everybody asks what's for dinner and nobody can decide what they want to eat, k w is the perfect place to go. My interpretation as a child of k w was dinner. That's just where we ate. How you doing today? Got together with our cousins. That's where my father always took us to dinner. Yeah, it was definitely a, you know, a destination for us as well. We ate there two or three times a week, it seems like, growing up. We spent a lot of time in the cafeteria, children. Lots of great memories of our grandparents in the cafeterias on Sundays. You know, no, no Allred has ever had dinner in a cafeteria that we didn't need the large table. My husband now giggles when he goes to dinner with me because I now have dinner with all of the managers and all of the people in the cafeteria also. I believe our customers, our guests, see us as, a, as not just a restaurant, but as a destination to reunite with family and friends. Everything that comes through our back door, my brother is famous for saying, is an ingredient to make something else. Everything's made from scratch. We don't buy anything pre-made. Uh, and that's, that says something. That's a lost art in a lot of restaurants. Several of our recipes date back to the founding of the company. Even. All the current members of the third generation, to some capacity or another, work for k w Cafeterias. And while we each bring our own set of talents to the table, we all share one thing in common, and that's the passion to preserve and grow the vision of our grandfather. I don't know that any of us when we were younger headed out to have the jobs that we did and then I think around the age of I would say 20 something it becomes a passion for everybody to want to come back and do it. I started working with KW uh, when I was probably 18. We all like all already we all start in the kitchen. Now, I'm very proud of the family for the way we treat our employees. We, we treat them the way we want to be treated. You know everybody that works for us is considered family. You know, we have such long-term employees. The longest tenured employee we have had uh, retired just a few years ago, Mr. Charlie Brown, who had 69 years upon his retirement. You know, people who work in the stock room that I worked with, he's been working with us for, you know, some over 60 years. We had one employee that retired that worked with us for 69 years. There's several others with 50 plus years we currently have on uh, working for us now. They started long before I was even born. Mr. Mr. Brown, who I spoke of earlier, he's the one who trained my father as well as myself in the stock room. It's when you work alongside people for that long and you realize that it's their dedication on a daily basis that has really made our company what it is today. Every time we make any kind of big decision, we always think back, what would Grady Senior do? And so he still reflects our decisions to this day. You know, we've just stayed true to our grandfather's vision and we try to offer the best food at the best prices. Thank you. We just don't deviate from that formula. Even restaurants don't stay around for 75 years for no reason. We'd like to thank the Wake Forest University Family Business Center for this wonderful award. Well, hey, my friend, how are you? It's certainly special to us that we've been honored with this award. You know, we're a 75-year-old family company, and that is something certainly to be honored and held. There's a lot of companies that make it that long, but to still be owned by the family and taken care of by us, it's a great honor. We take great pride in it. We're very close with all of our employees. It's not just a family business in regards to the personal family, we consider it a family business in regards to every single employee that we have.